Hang on. How have I not made a video about this? In this series, we'll try to steer clear of the well-trodden path and instead explore Beethoven's less celebrated passages, which nonetheless showcase the composer's exceptional craftsmanship and ingenuity. Today, we're looking at the two-movement Opus 90 sonata. I absolutely adore this one, and it's because of passages like this in the first movement. We're at the end of the development section, and now we await the impending recapitulation. But how does Beethoven go from this to this, the return of the first subject? Well, quite brilliantly, as you'll hear. compelling, strange, modern even, but what's really going on? Essentially, Beethoven transforms this seemingly unimportant five-note fragment into the main theme, step by step and across 17 repetitions. Using rhythmic augmentation, semiquavers become quavers, quavers become crotchets, and crotchets become, you guessed it, Minims. And with the arrival of these minims, Beethoven drops the final two notes from the motif, leaving it simply as G, F sharp, E, the exact same pitches as the first subject. With the correct motif secured, Beethoven subjects it to a characteristically ruthless interrogation repeating it over and over again, on top of itself as well as in every nearby register, something he also does in a certain popular bagatelle. This stretto corresponds with a whopping crescendo, building the tension, all of which culminates in the emphatic return of the first subject. Let's listen to the whole thing again, it's as if we're hearing the composer's methodical thought process unfold in real time. 